What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to Now Kate is being hassled And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, Shit! Can you give me an example of a photographer? Damn, I cannot believe this. The human condition in black and white. Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, Dang don't it, freak out. Wowzer, my old broken camera is new again. Keep it together, Max. Because of her images of hopeless faces, you feel like still the same. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. She saw humanity as torture. My pencil case is still in the same place. What is going on? Nothing has moved at all. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. Damn it! Everything is the same. Moment of desperation, and any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a- If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Okay. Big fan of her work? I prefer Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the era. Okay, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat. Which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You dig? Now, contrast Frank's stark Americana with Salvador Dali's surrealist photographs. Mm. Like Cocteau, he was a true Renaissance man. And his famous self-portraits uh, are famous uh, early uh, examples uh, of that truly awful uh, word uh, you pesky uh, kids uh, love so much. The selfie. And it's a great tradition. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. Mm -hmm. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits. Okay. Jawabannya kita ada. I feel I have to use the bathroom. Shh. Okay, I have to. I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after Lucy class. And I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind so again process, and give him the right answer? Detailing people's faces, making them extremely the popular from the... Okay, I'm not Now, uh, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. 
invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. <laughs> oh, I features. love this. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned uh, chapters. Max I is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella oh, and Alyssa, get it Messiah. together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I, hope I, can I see you pretending not to see me. The best. Max, you are not crazy. The best. You are not dreaming. Ever. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. Yes. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Okay. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. by Mark on the couch. Okay, speak. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography... John Lennon said he okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. Jo okay. Okay. Excuse me. Let one of photography's futures. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Victoria but hasn't moved power. from that spot. Okay, let's go. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Gimana cara kita nyelamatin? Yo, Daniel. ada orang seperti kita muncul ke dalam. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Don't Come on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I need I a hammer to break it open! Of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody I'm... would ever Come even on. miss your punk Thanks. ass, would they? We need... They've gone away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, Hell I can help her. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break it open. Would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. 
That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Do not freak out. Let's get out of here. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Security kok langsung marah-marah sih. Bukannya ngajak ini nih. Kita keluar gitu. Ayo Neng, cepat keluar. Itu kayak malah kita dimarahin. Ngomong. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Okay. Report Nathan or hide the truth. Ini sepertinya pilihan yang kita bakal mempengaruhi jalan ujungnya cerita kita. Max nembak cewek itu gara-gara cewek itu juga terlalu nakan si Max. Makanya dia berubah seperti itu. Kalau ceweknya nggak terlalu neken, pasti dia meres itu. Meres duit kan tadi ada ngomongnya duit. Kalau kita ngeripotin Max, Max bakalan ditangkap. Dan kita nggak tahu masalah persoalannya dari awal itu kita nggak tahu. So, kalau menurut saya, we hide the truth. I just got sick in class. Uh, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that teen toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. Okay, mister. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Should we rewind it? Oke, okay. ini mempengaruhi kehidupan kita, guys. Kalau kita nggak ngomong jujur, kita kehilangan itu kita beasiswa di sini. Oke, okay, should we honest or we not? Kita harus jujur kah atau enggak? Hmm. Max, you better go on outside now. Coba kita, kita coba dulu. Speak. You look a little. Nathan. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes, he was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. 
I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Hmm. Should I rewind and change my story? <laughs> gitu guys, rupa aja guys. <laughs> Kita ngasih tahu juga keluarga Prescott itu nguasain sekolah. So, kita ngomong jujur salah soalnya yang nguasin sekolah itu Prescott dan kita bakalan dituduh juga balik pasti ujungnya ini pasti kita bakalan ini buang istilahnya guys so let's hide the truth I don't care about Prescott mari kita urusin hidup kita sendiri aja dan nolongin orang you look Bye. Don't like you. Leave to main campus. Okay. Bodo amat. <laughs> Tengok sini tu kita aja. Sekolah dikuasai oleh warga Prescott. Kita ngadu. Pres ini. Mungkin kayak nanti kita balah dituduh. Kita ini merusak nama baik. <laughs> ah. Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber she looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Miss Grant. Grant sure is dedicated to that petition. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure. Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater. You'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Okay, let's see. Perlu dong, memang kamera. Soalnya kan udah ada orang kehilangan, Donson. Miss Grant, I totally respect your passion and knowledge, but some security cameras make me feel a little safer. I'm not against security, Max. We should all be concerned when private space becomes public. Your generation has been tricked to think everything should be recorded. The heck? Thank you, Miss Grant. Gila. Orang mungkin itu security-nya buat jagain kita kok malah. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Wah, dia. Si Hayden ada harem. Hayden speak. Hey Hayden. There she is. The retro selfie master. Wah. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell. Especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not the Funny most. Too. Vortex Club. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? 
seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Crook actually has a drone? Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? Oh, is this legal? Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. <laughs> this might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. 